Hello everybody and welcome to another video. It's a beautiful Georgia day today. And this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com. And I got another suggestion for a topic from great friends of mine over at FPrimeC.com. Phenomenal structural engineers over there. And their, their question was, had to do with concrete piles and concrete you know, footings and foundations <clears throat> is how can you use GPR to measure the length of a concrete pile. And we're going to do this in a two-part series today. Um, and so there'll be two separate videos, but in today's part one, all right, part one, um, we're going to address it in this way, right? So you have a concrete pile, it's buried below the surface, anchoring in uh, a building, a column, whatever the case may be. How can you measure the length of a pile? Well, with traditional um, you know, ground penetrating radar from the surface, it gets very difficult, right, as it's putting a signal into the ground um, because of the vertical orientation of concrete piles. So in order to evaluate the depth or the length of a concrete pile, you actually have to use a different sensor. It's still radar, it's still ground penetrating radar, but it's a different sensor, and what you need to use is a borehole radar. So what you do in this case is you basically place a small borehole into the ground and then you drop your radar into the ground and here's the sensor then. Right, so here will be your sensor, right? And it comes out, let's say with a, uh, with a little, here's your logging uh, uh, computer. And actually your borehole will go even further down, right, in order to see the depth of it. All right. So here's your borehole, and basically you use a borehole radar in order to evaluate the depth. So how does this work? Well, as the sensor, right, is at different depths, it's putting out a signal. All right. Here's your sensor depths, okay. And so it puts out a signal, and as it puts out a signal, Right? it gets a reflection off of your concrete pile. As it goes further into the ground, it gets a reflection off your concrete pile. And that continues to happen as it goes all the way into the subsurface, right? giving you a profile, well, you know, giving you a, a basically a profile of what it looks like in the surface, but a horizontal profile, right? So again, it's taking a little longer, let's hypothetically say, uh, in this case. But by the time you get down here, right, nothing's coming back, okay? So, so it continues to go, and you don't really see a reflection from your concrete pile here. And so, in a sense, it turns ground penetrating radar, which typically goes you know, along the surface this way, on its side somewhat, and actually does it by depth into the ground, and looks at distance from the sensor to a reflection event. Uh, uh, that's somewhere else within the ground surface. So this is typically how the lengths of concrete piles are evaluated with borehole radar. Same principles that we talk about. A couple issues here are borehole radars are susceptible to a whole lot of environmental sources of reflections uh, and certainly man-made sources. When you begin to think that they're on, con on their construction sites uh, that you might be doing this kind of investigation on, um, there's going to be a lot of mechanical waves being produced at the surface, especially if they're using heavy machinery. So that's one potential source of noise for your uh, um, borehole radar. Uh, another issue is how accurate can you get, right, to this point right here, right, how accurate can you be? Um, well, since the signal actually spreads as it's coming out of your sensor, uh, it could be difficult to pinpoint accuracy of your uh, concrete pile length. Um, it, you know, and the reason is, let's say down here, it's sending it out. You're obviously deeper than the length, but if it's sending it out, you may actually get some reflections off of that, even though you're deeper than it is. So it may give you some sort of, a, 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 you know, some is not going to be completely accurate, right? It's been one other issue with borehole radar for locating the 
length of a concrete pile. So this is one way to do it. Okay, this is one way to do it. And uh, um, in the next video, part two, we'll show you uh, another example where you can actually use ground penetrating radar coming across the surface to potentially locate the length of concrete piles, um, but only in certain circumstances. So if you like this video, please share it around, hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will give you these videos every single week, and you'll get notified immediately whenever these videos come out. If you haven't done so yet, hop over to learngpr.com, put your name and email in, and uh, sign up for our free online GPR courses. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next video.